Now then, what have we got here? It's another grid inverter. This time it's a Fronius and it's an early IG30. And I just thought, let's have it apart just to see if there's anything burnt or what have you in there before we test it. It's very early, it's got um, MC3 connectors. So I'm expecting it to be really quite crude in there and maybe on the, um, the display. So um, with uh, let's crack on with it and have a look. So there's the label, as you can see, 2,500 watts, 2.5 kilowatt, uh, MPP 150 to 400. Interesting. And I wonder what um, voltage it starts at. It might be earlier than, or lower than that, but um, 150, six panels. Yeah. So um, anyway, made in Austria. Let's um, just have a brief look before we take the screws out. There's the MC3 connectors. 3mm apparently and it's not labelled but I've marked this and I've marked it because this one says positive on it. You would have thought they'd have marked that wouldn't you? And on the side here there's these things which are a bit weird but I've actually had one of these off and all there is is a screen in there. It's there's a screen and it's ventilation and obviously the screen's there to keep the spiders out and things like that. So I wouldn't say this is um, IP65. It's nowhere near it. In fact, I don't think it actually says on here. Oh, IP45. There we go. But it's um, not, not ever so uh, well sealed, if at all. Now I think there's a screw there and a screw there and the same on the other side and then we get into it and there are slots and a um, a torque. So what type, size torque is it? It's that one. And they're dinky little screws. I went down to Bimble Solar um, last week in Lewis near um, Brighton because I was teaching down at Brighton and I popped in to see those guys very friendly quite interesting they've got a lot of kit there we go okay right what we have here is some sort of right let me investigate for a minute I don't know what this uh... oh there we go And there's a connection in the middle of that, and that's a bit weird. There's nothing clipping it together. You probably didn't see that, but it just pulls apart. No clips or anything. Odd. And then covered up with this thing. Okay, now I can take the top off, I think. Yeah. Right. 
Right, let's zoom in on this and just see what's there. Yeah, fairly rural. That's a DC, that covers the DC input. Okay, we've got a fan here, we've got a capacitor there, which it doesn't actually, it's all in code. Class H. Yeah. And capacitors. Ah. Two relatively small relays. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is. Yeah. And there's a load of capacitors underneath here. A whole more another board and more of these uh, ribbons and a lot of ribbons everywhere and of course every one could um, be potentially a problem Right, okay. I can't see anything burnt. I can't see any dates either. But it's going to be fairly early, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. I think what we'll do... Um, we'll just put some DC into this and see what happens. So I'll have to connect the... down here, where are we? Yeah, I'll have to connect this screen back up to that. I was just really hoping to see a date somewhere. But I can't. So that's it. In fact, it's probably in code anyway. Now look, even here it says service and then it goes run. Right, let's get that um, screen connected. Okay, I've got it wired up. Let's turn the uh, Verista up. And I'm thinking we'll want about... Oh, did we see something there? Oh, right. We have something. Let's move the camera in. Ah, the screen's no good. Oh, the lights come on. But the screen is gone, so we can't see what's going on at all. I suppose that's to be expected. That screen could quite well be 15 years old, if not more, more. As there's something there, is it 104? And there's a little house there. Little house. Oh, 114 by the looks of it. I don't know what that is, whether it's a fault code or what. But that just goes to show the value of a screen to let you know what's going on. I'm just going to check what the, what the input voltage, DC input voltage is. And we're on 240, so it's enough to start it. But the Variac is not making 
um, much noise so it means there's no load on it just trying to press on this to see if it would make any difference no it's not and ah on the house thing it shows a a mains plug that's flashing so it's as, almost as if there is no mains but there is because I know because it's attached and it's plugged in so maybe it um, 104 or 114 is um, it can't sense the uh, mains power but without the screen proper screen you can't really find out what's going on okay I think I'm going to leave it at that that's um, I suppose it's a bit disappointing really but it's that screens quite old technology right any comments any ideas I'd, uh, I'd appreciate those I don't have great hopes catch up with you soon cheers for now